So you're brand new to 3D printing and you don't know how the slicer works. How do you put on a file? How do you slice a file? How does it work for these brand new machines? Specifically for the Creatly's, I'm gonna show you guys on Creatly Print. So rotate your phone with me this way and I'm gonna show you guys the basic settings to use for Creatly Print to be able to slice. So over here is where you can load in your printers if you have multiple ones or you can add a printer and select the printer that you have. Here is your basic menus that you can use and here is where you can enable supports if your print has overhangs that has to start in the middle of the air. Here you can put it on just touching the build plate only and your type of supports. You can also make it that you activate it or not. Your quality is over here. The lower your quality is, the better quality your print is going to be, but the longer it's going to take. Your wall count is also how many walls or the outside layers that your print has. And infill is how solid you want your print to be. 100% being solid and 0% being hollow. 15 is always the standard. You can also change the pattern that that infill is to give you different kind of strengths. Over here, if you have a multi-filament system, here's where you can add filaments or colors and subtract filaments and colors. If you do have multi-colors, you can also really quickly paint your object if it is already just one color. So here we can just quickly scribble on a couple of colors. And when you're done, your print will look like this and it will automatically give you a prime tower.